Now, in the world of forestry, there are a few more sensitive issues than that of threatened species and little animals that live in our bush. We're in Victoria's high country, and in this part of the world, there is a small, a shy, and enigmatic animal that, much like this forest, is shrouded in mystery. Meet Victoria's faunal emblem, the lead beater's possum, a tiny non-gliding possum that lives in a small pocket of ash forest just a stone's throw from Melbourne. It's shy and is almost never seen. They're quite hard to see, so they're, they're known as a cryptic species that tends to only come out at night time. Um, during the day, they're denning. Um, they they will, will spend time in a, in a hollow of a tree, usually with other family members. So they're quite hard to see, unfortunately. But when you do see them, they're, they're very beautiful animals. There are large areas reserved to provide habitat for the possum, but the biggest challenge facing the species is it lives in a landscape susceptible to fire. And there have been big fire events over the past 100 years, with 34% of the possum's potential habitat burnt in the 2009 Black Saturday fires alone. The possums also have very specific habitat needs. Now, Lachlan, this looks pretty perfect. Uh, the thing about your possum is that they're very picky about where they live, aren't they? They are, they are. They like big old trees to live in with, yep. with a really thick understory so they can travel through. And they don't just like one big old tree. This is perfect because there's multiple big old trees surrounding it. What about all these other sort of ash trees that are sort of 65, 75 years old? These trees originating from the 1939 bushfire, whilst they're 75 year old, they're really just teenagers. They're growing strongly, they're not rotting on the internal, so they're not forming hollows. The challenge with the lead beater possum is that the, the abundance is in decline because the trees that they rely on, the very old trees, have been affected by fire over the last hundreds of years. And over the last hundred years, the, the, the dead trees which they prefer are starting to fall down. And the younger trees that have grown from fires in the early 1900s are yet to be old enough to be suitable for habitat. Here in Victoria, the lead beater's possum issue has sparked plenty of emotion, particularly as it applies to the forest industry. Yes, indeed. The thing you need to realise, though, is before one tree is harvested, Vic Forest staff are out on the ground searching for clusters of habitat trees like this one. And if they find them, then a whole bunch of rules and regulations come into play. Vic Forest's specially trained foresters walk every coop planned for harvest and any scientifically defined habitat is identified and protected with buffer zones. So in regards to the management of the possum in Victoria, there's an extensive reserve system that, that contains the highest quality habitat. But where habitat is located in areas that we may be planning harvesting, we look for certain density of trees in an area and where, where that density of trees is met, we'll exclude that area from our harvesting and protect it from the operation. There's three up here, and if we mark these now, yeah. uh, I'll mark that as waypoint two. Vic Forest's planning process also goes a step further, correlating information from other researchers and linking together all known habitat areas. If information comes into us from the Victorian Biodiversity Atlas, or we gather information from universities or government or in any, any way really, we ensure that that detection um, is buffered by at least 100 metres as a minimum to ensure that that community is well protected from timber harvesting. In addition to the areas which are in specific reserves for, for animals like the leadbeater's possum, we find that after our planning process is completed, we're also excluding an additional 30% of the area which is available for harvest for a range of reasons, but that also includes leadbeater's possum, and that, will, that forest will remain as available habitat going forward. The leadbeater's possum only lives in a small pocket of Victoria's mountain ash forests northeast of Melbourne. It's on the endangered species list, and fire remains a significant threat to its survival, with the 2009 bushfires having a big impact on the possum. Since the fires, Vic Forests has reduced the level of harvest in the area, with harvesting at its lowest level in 20 years. Every coop harvested is searched for scientifically defined possum habitat. If it's found, it's protected. There is almost 100,000 hectares of suitable forest within the possum's range, which has not been affected by recent fires and which will never be harvested. We certainly understand and share people's concern around the future of the leadbeater's possum. It's Victoria State emblem and we're committed to protecting its habitat in areas which are available for harvest. We also believe that this solution won't be found only by focusing on those areas which are available to us. We require a broader landscape approach to managing this issue and ensuring the ongoing survival of the leadbeater's possum.